Tom Percival. Dear reader, this book is about a girl who can't get rid of a worry. Everyone worries about things from time to time, and it can be hard to stop. Even though we can't see our worries like Ruby can, they're here with us. Ignoring them can sometimes make them worse, so here are a few questions to ask yourself when you think you have a worry stuck to you. What am I feeling? Sad? Angry? Anxious? All three? What could be causing me to feel this way? Who can I talk to about it? No matter what you're feeling, remember that it always helps to talk about it. Be open. Be honest. Be you. Love, Tom. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high, and she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes, she even went all day to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy, until one day, she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day, it got a little bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast staring at her over the cereal box. It was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at tea time. It filled up half of the school bus. It took up whole rolls at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about. It seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time that she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long.